Markup can nest. That means there can be tags inside of tags. And nesting really is where markup starts to get really interesting because it, it's in the combination of markup as opposed to single uh, enclosing tags where you can do most of the interesting things and where for us a lot of the power of the markup is going to come from. So in HTML, for example, if you have a table, there's a parent, and now I'll start talking about parent and child tags, there's a parent table tag, and inside, before the table tag closes, there's a child row tag, it's called TR. Inside the child row tag is a child cell tag. The cell is part of the row, is part of the table. And in that you can already see the, uh, you can already see the major idea of nesting which is that the, ch the child tags, the tags inside the parent tags, are given some form of context. They're given some part of partial meaning by the tags that they come inside. So the cell outside of a row, outside of a table, really has very little meaning. What's a cell outside of a table in a row? But inside the row, inside the table, the cell has exactly the meaning that we intend, which is one cell inside a larger table. So in HTML, that nesting is used, and it's, it's a significant, uh, it, did I say HTML? Yeah, in HTML, that, that nesting is used, and it's a significant part of the, um, the way that tags are interpreted, but you'll see in XML, it's absolutely central. XML is hierarchical. It's fundamentally hierarchical, which means that the structures of XML are defined by the fact that one tag is inside another. So in HTML, it's, it's useful to have rows inside of columns, but in XML, it's absolutely necessary. And the, uh, excuse me, I'm getting buffeted. And the, um, uh, the meanings of tags are almost entirely, or can almost entirely be decided by where they are. So let's take the idea of a speaker tag. It's a speaker. Well, what does that mean? If it's inside, uh, if it's inside an audio tag, now you know that it's a speaker that's uh, that the, the speaker that the sound comes out of. But maybe it's inside of an agenda tag. And inside the agenda tag, it means a person who speaks. The context, the meaning of that tag, the interpretation of that tag is almost entirely set by the parents of that tag. So in XML, that hierarchical structure, tags inside of tags, the nesting of tags, becomes absolutely critical. You'll see nesting in almost all markup languages as a way of of doing that same thing, of putting context, wider context around tags. But in XML, it's really going to be the central aspect. And it's the way that information is, is represented inside of XML. 